The following interview was conducted with Morgan Grosso for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on September 23, 2017 at Boilermaker Station in Purdue Memorial Union on Homecoming Day. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Morgan, to get us started, could you tell me where you're from, when you attended Purdue, and what you studied? Yeah, so I'm originally from Frankfurt, Indiana, mm -hmm. but I ended up graduating from Jeff High School. So um, I attended Purdue University starting in 2009 for the College of Liberal Arts to study communication. Um, I graduated in 2013, um, started working at Purdue University, and then I decided to come back to get my master's in 2014, and I finished in 2016. So two degrees. <laughs> and what do you do now? Um, I work for the College of Ag and I'm a content social media specialist. So I, I'm on the media relations team. So I write articles, I interview people, I manage all the social media accounts for the College of Ag and for Purdue Extension. Mm -hmm. So you're a graduate and an employee. Yes. <laughs> what, what do you see differently from those two roles? Um, what do I see differently? Oh, I guess... I look at Purdue differently. I, I enjoy being here more. I, I recognize how Purdue is like a city itself, how there's so many different opportunities for employment from like there's housing, there's dining, there's education, there's fire department. I mean, everything that a city has, we have here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just the, the opportunities that are available. I guess I probably didn't recognize that as a student. Mm -hmm. I just looked at the school side. Did you get involved in any extra activities as a student? Um, I was a student employee at Purdue. Also, I worked for operations and maintenance, but I was also on Society of Professional Journalists. I was a secretary mm -hmm. for that organization for two years, I believe. Did you live on campus? No, I did not. Nope, I had an apartment downtown, so commute wasn't too far. Mm -hmm. Were you active in very many um, student organizations, just those that you mentioned? Uh, yeah, just the... SPJ for two years and then I started working so mm -hmm. I was essentially working full-time while going to school full-time. So. Sure. Did you attend very many sporting events? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. That's that's probably something that's changed too since I've been an employee. Not that I go to sporting events, but I see this other side of the university that I wasn't interested in at all because I'm, I'm not an athlete by any means. <laughs> but I see the community side of things like leading up to this like homecoming, there's other opportunities to do without the sports side. Mm -hmm. Do you usually take part in the homecoming activities? No, this is my first time. I didn't, at a, as a student, as an alumna, nothing. This is my very first time. <laughs> what do you think of it so far? It's fun, I think. Um, it's kind of cool now that I work for the College of Ag, too. It's kind of like I have the Ag side that I can go to. I have my liberal arts side. I have just Purdue as a whole. And it's fun to take advantage of this in our backyard, too. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite places on campus? Uh, probably the Union, because that's where my husband and I met, so it's kind of a sentimental place to us. So that's, that's where we started. Yeah. Could and you? I really like the Beering Fountain, just because it's beautiful. <laughs> Could you tell me more about that meeting in the Union? How we met? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, when I was an undergrad student, I would sit at the, the dining tables mm -hmm. down in the basement, and I would see him walk by, and I'd look, and then... I worked at... He, he already worked at Purdue, correct. And so we'd, you know, kind of pass, and he'd keep looking, and I'd look, and he'd look, and then after a while, my friend's like, I think he notices you, too. And then finally, he reached out, and yeah, we've been together ever since, so it's been over six years now. Yeah. And so, yeah, he works at Purdue, I work at Purdue, so it's not only is it our jobs, but it's, like I said, it's how our, our lives together sure. started, so we definitely have a sentimental value to, to Purdue. Okay. Yeah. Do you, did any of your family attend Purdue? I'm the first in my family to attend college, so, yeah. Do you remember the first time you came here? Oh, oh. I'm trying to think how old I'd be. Um, my family actually owns Jake's Roadhouse. Um, uh, at the bar. So mm -hmm. I was up on campus probably at eight years old, just kind of hanging around or riding my scooter around campus, just getting to know it. So it was kind of familiar also. But, I mean, it was still scary being the first in my family to go to college. I didn't know what I was getting into, but... It made it more comforting that I, I knew the pathways to the buildings, and it wasn't too strange. Mm -hmm. What do you think, between your time as a student and now mm -hmm. that you're working here, what do you think has changed the most? Uh, of <laughs> the directions of streets, but I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, what's changed the most? I would probably say 
the image of Purdue. I mean, there's been so many buildings that have happened over my time that sometimes it's hard to remember what a part of campus looked like. Like, oh, there, now there's this facility or there's this innovation center. Or, you know, there's always something popping up every year. So it's good changes, though. I wouldn't say that they're ruining the bad, like the prior image by any means, but probably just the facade. Mm-hmm. What is the same? What is Purdue? Like, what is the definition of Purdue that stays yeah. constant? Um, probably the loyalty. Um, like I said, I've never had life outside of Purdue either, so maybe it's just personally that I really feel that, but it's like that was my school, that was my job, that's my marriage, that's my, my friends that I've made. It's just, I don't know, I'd say probably the loyalty. And I see it from others too, when you see people who have been coming to homecoming for so many years or they come back every year. And sometimes I think it's easy to take advantage of that since I work here. That's just another day, but you can see how other people are loyal too. Mm-hmm. Is there anything about Purdue that you think doesn't get enough attention? Um, I don't know. I think sometimes it's easy to stay focused on the athletic side of things, and I understand because that's where funding comes into, so that's obviously a big part. But maybe some of the day-to-day operations and the people that make that possible, Mm -hmm. maybe there's not enough emphasis there. It's easy to look at the sexy side of things, like, oh, there's a new center, there's a new lab, new... But it's like, how did that happen? How did that get there? Mm-hmm. That's a good observation. <laughs> Do you have any advice for incoming Purdue students? Any advice? Hmm. Possibly just take advantage to every opportunity that's available. Um, it's easy to get sidetracked to think that four years is going to take so long and you just got to do this one thing to make time for other things but in all reality the four years goes really fast so if you have an opportunity go for it like study abroad that's something that I never did but I also had a cat at home so I couldn't leave her but that's one regret that I have that I never had I never did that and I know there's great opportunities now where you can get funding from your school to do the study abroad so if there is money available and I mean go for it that's I think a big thing. So now I'm trying to make up for it and travel like crazy now. (laughs) Okay, well, do you have any last thoughts or memories that you would like to share? Mm, I don't think so. Can you think of anything? (laughs) No, I think we covered it. Okay, well, thank you for talking. Oh, yeah, no problem.